Hi, guys. Liz Hansen, in addition to her Berger Picards, also has standard schnauzers and is going to chat with us a little bit about the Stop. breed characteristics of a standard schnauzer and the preferred way to go over a standard schnauzer. So, Liz, take it away. Okay. So, a standard schnauzer, it says, first thing in the standard, it says sturdy and robust. So this is a dog that should be solid, never flimsy. They should have good bone, good solid head, good amount of body and bone to them. Um, again, the, the head, we want level planes, a nice dark eye under their eyebrows, um, a full complement of large white teeth. And for the size of dog they are, these teeth should be very large. Um, we have some issues in the breed with tiny incisors and then the bite tends to drift off um, so we want nice big incisors as well um, good amount of fore chest again a good strong shoulder with good layback um, good strong bone the chest should come at least to the elbow it may come a little below the elbow um, they are square dogs so the height at the withers should be the same as the length of body um, we want a long rib cage a short loin, um, make a lot of room for lungs and heart so they have good endurance. Um, and again, the rear should be, angulation should balance the front so they can move in good, strong, easy strides. The tail, um, there is supposed to be a very slight um, <laughs> slope to the croup, but not so much that it looks like their tail is coming out halfway down their butt. But it's not a terrier tail that's set halfway up their back. So it should be at about 1 o'clock, um, and it should be held upright. Um, again, a nice level top line, good, strong, and sturdy in every respect. Um, the ears can be cropped or left natural. If they're left natural, they should look kind of like an Airedale. They come up just a little bit and then break over and held close to the side of their head. So. Okay. How about an, an exam for us? Okay. So for an exam, again, you want to, uh, this is another breed that's tuned into its owner, so it's best if you're talking a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, again, go over the head. You want to feel for level planes um, and a level top skull. Um, good, strong bite. The owner will show you the bite. We want a good, strong nose. Take a look at the eye shape and color. It should be nice and dark. Um, we want uh, sort of a rectangular box for their head. Um, you're looking at the the uh, neck into the shoulders, and Rooster's going to not cooperate. Um, and again, we want good, strong shoulders, nice layback. Check for the fore chest. Check the angulation here, depth of chest, length of loin, nice, strong, straight top line, correct tail set, good muscle muscles here, and a nice short hock with well-angled rear as well. You also want to check the coat texture. This is supposed to be a harsh banded coat on the pepper salt dogs, uh, pure black uh, on the black dogs, and you should be able to feel texture to this. There also should be undercoat there. They shouldn't have all the, the undercoat stripped out. So um, that's the standard snouser. Um, I'm going to come over back over here okay. and tell me if uh, any DQs or faults. Uh, we have a size DQ, both okay. upper and lower. Okay. Um, so they, the height is? The ideal height is 17 and a half to 18 and a half for the bitches. Okay. 18 and a half to 19 and a half for the dogs. Okay. And you get a half an inch either way. Okay. And then it's a disqualification Got after it. that. Okay. And um, other than that, I don't think we have any other DQs. Okay, terrific. No. All right. So. There we have it. Rooster, the standard schnauzer. Until next time, guys. <laughs>